We love this guy, 3000. Hello everyone, Mr. Stark here. Welcome back to Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 as we take a look at Iron Man, probably my most under leveled character. I had to spend some XP cubes on him, and he's not great in my opinion. We're going to take a look at him. Tomorrow I'm going to take a look at Thor, who is also not really well leveled up. And then we're going to look at some characters that are actually pretty well leveled up. Now we're going to take a look at Iron Man, the main face of the MCU of themselves. Uh, I really do like Iron Man as a character. Um, in terms of um, what I like in the character, I suppose. He's not necessarily bad. I grew up with Iron Man during the huge bad when he came out. There are a lot of people looking at him like, very impressed by what the movie could do. And don't get me wrong, it was impressive, the Iron Man suit and everything. Again, it's probably just, when I mean, as a kid, when watching that, it's, it happened during the War on Terror, so it really does date it. But anyway, I don't mind. I remember just playing with my toys, my pocket gun, and it was just like, What's Daddy watching? He's watching Iron Man. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to smear at him. No, that's actually kind of what happened, because it was on Christmas when it came out on DVD. At least when my father watched it on DVD. Anyway. I grew to like Iron Man. I was kind of upset when he died. I didn't want to die in Endgame. Um, so I feel like the directors fixed most of the problems with the character, which was really good. There was a lot of problems with the character of um, Iron Man, especially um, after, not after, but through the whole Civil War fiasco where he was kind of hated upon by the rest of the universe and felt kind of, well, he just felt and hated. It will. I do like that movie, The Arc Reactor, but he is the face of the MCU. I don't mind some of his movies. Uh, again, Iron Man 2 is just kind of disappointing. It's not as bad as I think Iron Man 3. I think Iron Man 3 is the worst of them, but a lot of people will be like, Oh, but it was a, the whole Mandarin thing. like, it's a joke, you have to take it for what it is. And yeah. But it just removes all this tension that was built. If you ask me. I felt like it was kind of like in a sense on The Last Jedi, where The Last Jedi was just like, we're going to throw you 15 curveballs, and you're going to love it. It's just like, oh, I mean, you don't like these uh, curveballs. Like, you're going to like it or not! I was just like, I spat on myself there. <laughs> Some movies feel like nowadays where it's just like, you're going to be surprised by that plot twist. And she's like, well, I really wasn't like, it doesn't matter! You're gonna sit down and love it! It's like, I didn't really like it. And then they grab you by the throat and be like, You're gonna like it, damn it! Okay? But I do like that they are trying to fix the whole Mandarin fiasco uh, with Shang-Chi and the Immortals. I don't mind what they're trying to do. I think it's a bit late to fix it, if you ask me. But I'm not in Hollywood, so I'm not like, Well, I technically the screenwriting deal to this. It's just like, okay. Um, yeah, I feel like the best Iron Man movie is Iron Man 1. The old two, there are good parts in two. I think two, it's not underrated per se, it's just a real, it's a good movie, there's parts where they're good. When it comes to the first Iron Man movie, it's nothing. Like, I will argue this for the, for the life of me, I will keep on telling people this. Because they're just like, oh, I don't know anything noteworthy about it. It's like, well, you, you can't deny Justin the Hammer is really good. The guy who played, uh, Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell is a really good actor. I feel like he puts 110% in what he's in. And that's really good. Lightning Galaxy Quest, I felt like he was really good at that, but he wasn't a standout person, but he was definitely one of the standouts of that movie. I don't think he was necessarily great in it, but again, he was probably one of the best things in Iron Man 2. It is a shame we never got to see him again, because I really do like Sam Rockwell. Like, again, not only he feels like the only actor really giving himself 110%. I've not watched, um, oh, uh, uh, Three Billboards Outside Enemy, Missouri. The only thing I know from is that Sam Rockwell, um, won an Academy Award, and uh, I think, I think he deserves it. If anything, I think he deserves it from, um, but being honest, I think he's great in a lot of his stuff. A lot of his stuff has to be comedy. But yeah, some actors strive in that. Like, I thought Robert Downey Jr. was mainly a comedic actor. But, again, Iron Man was kind of the role for him. I felt like... 
A lot of people said, um, it was during the initial phases, starting up of the movie, that a lot of people thought that, uh, um, oh no, I'm trying to remember his name now, that, um, Tom Cruise should have been the face of it. And I tell my parents, I, my mom was just like, my mom gushes over Robert Downey Jr. to the point where it's just like, I don't really, I thought he was good. I just really thought he was a jerk most of the time. And, and my mom is just like, what? I, I kid you not. When I saw the first Avengers movie, I honestly did not care much for Tony Stark. I honestly thought the, the first, the first phase of the MCU movies, as, as good as it was, I'm, I'm not criticizing them, I'm trying to be like, well this suck. There are good moments, but it's mainly setting up the character. In my opinion. So that was the part I didn't really like about it. That's just my opinion. If people have opinions, there's a lot of people that are like, Iron Man 2 was a stroke of genius. So you're like, Iron Man 3 was a stroke of genius as well. But I don't... I like uh, Iron Man character. I don't like that Iron Man's been oversaturated in terms of popularity. Because I think that's what killed the character for me. I think that's what's going to kill the party. <laughs> so they're not careful. Um... One character I didn't rinse in the MCU, MCU has convinced me of a whole lot of characters that I wasn't going to be like, ah, I don't care less about them. Again, Chris Evans. But one thing I really didn't like about the Iron Man piece, I really didn't. And I'll keep on defending about how I didn't like this. In Iron Man 3, what the Iron Man did. I thought it was a tad stupid. The way they implemented the Iron Patriot. And it's just like, well... Wasn't that the always the intent of um of um oh War Machine was that he's an Iron Man for the public and then it's like well no he is not he is now it was like no that was the intent that's why they hired him but no I didn't watch the second Iron Man movie. I didn't I I I tried to avoid the second Iron Man because I heard just nothing good and I thought originally when um. I wish I was joking about this. When I was younger, I had no idea who the villain was. <laughs> I remember it mainly from toys. As how I don't know why, but I remember there being an aim package. And then my friend told me about this character out of a bunch of acronyms. I, I, that's how I knew who it was. And then when I was older, I was like, I know who he's referring to. It was Mark. And also, what a wasted opportunity. Um, oh, new ability. Oh, that's like that cat ability. Okay. Um. He, he, like, convinced me. That would have been better use. I still like this one. This X is my favorite of the. Where he's just using that. That's my favorite of his ability, if I'm being honest. You know, um, Robert Downey Jr. is definitely the face of MCU. I don't know who I want the next face of it. If I think he's. I like the idea that she's the poster child for phase one. Um, phase two, the poster child is definitely um, Chris Pratt and then Tom Holland. Have you guys? I'll talk about this later in my um, um <clears throat> on my um, um Star Lord. How was his name? Gameplay Lord. We're all talking about Onward. <coughs> I said I didn't quite recover. It's not as bad as it was, I will admit to that. But there are moments where I just like feel immense pain in my jaw. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll tell you why in the comments section below. Maybe it was just because I trashed on Robert Downey Jr. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love you all 3,000. That's it for me. Bye-bye.